reverend fathers, brothers, and sisters in Christ. It is truly an honor and a blessing to have this opportunity to express a few uh, words on this uh, initiation, on this launch of the 100th anniversary of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of Canada. I serve as the chancellor or priest administrator of the national office and of the head office of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of Canada based in Winnipeg. I wanted to say just a few words about some of the why as to the celebration. Of course, it's an important celebration as has been alluded to already, but three particular themes rise to the third surface, gratitude, education, and service. The original settlers to this land were very, very grateful that God had given them this opportunity to practice their faith, to freely practice their faith, and to establish their institutions, and which led to the establishment of the Ukrainian Greek Orthodox Church in 1918. Education was very, very important, and indeed it was the founding of the Ursa, the Patron Mohila Institute in 1916, that was a large part of the push to found the Ukrainian Greek Orthodox Church in 1918. And that education was always emphasized, such that by 1929, as was alluded to a few moments ago, there was sufficient educational level in the community to rally and advocate for the passage of an act of parliament incorporating the Ukrainian Greek Orthodox Church of Canada. But integral to that process was the concept of service. The concept of service to the world to mankind as ultimately the service to God, as the way of serving God and spreading the good news of the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in this land of Canada. And we are commemorating this event further by honoring the fact that in 1946, the Ukrainian Greek Orthodox Church of Canada immediately after the Second World War, in which 40,000 Ukrainian Canadians served in His Majesty's forces during the Second World War. Immediately following that Second World War, the St. Andrews College was founded, and it will be celebrating its 75th anniversary in a few short years. And as part of our celebration of the 100th anniversary of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of Canada, there will be a symposium presented that will cover some of these very themes, this gratitude, this education, and this service. And this uh, symposium is sponsored by the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of Canada and by St. Andrew's College. And will cover themes such as the founding priests, the early priests, as Father Taras Mikoski alluded to. We'll cover the living church of the prairies, the formation, the theological formation of the early settlers that led to this drive, this strong desire to found the church. And then there will be a presentation about the military chaplains, the Ukrainian Orthodox priests of Canada, the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of Canada priests who served as chaplains in the Second World War. And then there will be a presentation on the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of Canada as a light for contemporary orthodoxy, and then a reflection upon this very idea of service for the love of God, called to serve as we have been serving for a hundred years and God willing for many more years beyond. And it will conclude, the symposium part of the Sobor will conclude with a presentation about two of the chief ideologues of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of Canada, uh, Father Semen Sovchuk, and later on, uh, His Eminence uh, Metropolitan Ilarion of Blessed Memory, who in many, many ways showed this very idea of gratitude, of education, and service, for it was his quote that we hold fast on to as well, that service to the people, service to the Narod, service to the Hromad, service to the community, is service to God. Thank you. Thank you very much.